Hey guys, how's it going? This is Chris Delzer from the Agricultural Insights Podcast. I hope you recognize my voice. And uh, I wanted to do a series of videos that I can put on YouTube that are basically summaries of interviews that I've been doing. And in case you don't know, my website is agriculturalinsights.com where I interview people like Gabe Brown, Ian Mitchell Innes, Jerry Brunetti. Uh, I interviewed Evan Folds of the Vortex Brewer. Uh, I've interviewed Walt Davis. I've done a webinar with him. Uh, Gordon Hazard. I already said Ian, but yeah, just a bunch of farmers and ranchers in sustainable agriculture. And most of these interviews are about 60 minutes or longer. So what I wanted to do today is just summarize some of the interviews that I've done. And then you can make the decision watching these videos if you want to go ahead pop over to agriculturalinsights.com, sign up for the membership, and listen to the full-length videos. Now, um, I do want to mention that if you do sign up for the membership, you get access to the entire archive of interviews. If you don't sign up for the membership, there's still a bunch of top interviews. There's about 10 interviews I've done with really great people that you can find, and I'll put a link to that below in the description section. But Today, I want to talk about Evan Folds, and he's he's from the Vortex Brewer. So if you've ever wanted to know how to make compost tea, how to use compost tea, what's the difference between compost tea and compost extract, Evan is your man when it comes to that. So in this interview, we basically go through the process of why the Vortex Brewer is special and what, what does the Vortex Brewer do to compost tea and do to water in general uh, that makes it so effective for, you know, spraying on your in your garden, spraying on your pastures, spraying on rangeland, even any type of crop to improve the production of of those things. So, uh, but Evan also describes how you can make compost tea on your own. So um, he does sell the Vortex Brewer, and he he tells you why it's better than just making your own compost tea, and it and it has to do with aeration and the implosion of water when two mo- two water molecules hit together. Um, and he said that basically the water molecule is like a Mickey Mouse shape. So there's one bigger molecule here, hydrogen, and then the two oxygen models or molecules, or maybe it's two hydrogen, I don't remember. But he said basically it's the Mickey Mouse shape, you know, like this. He said when you implode the water through the vor- vortex brewer, they expand a little bit and then the compost tea or whatever you're brewing in the vortex brewer can attach itself and the water can it can take on those properties of whatever substance it is you put in there and there's a lot of stuff with biodynamic agriculture that you can do as well but it was very interesting how he talked about making water wetter using the vortex brewer and making water more effective Um, And we had a really great conversation about water. Some of the stuff just blew my mind. Um, But And then he also talked about how long you should brew compost tea for a a brew that is bacterially dominated or fungally dominated or protozoa dominated or um, what's the last uh, trophic level? I'm forgetting the last trophic level. Oh, nematodes, I think. I don't know. But yeah, you can. He basically told you how long to brew for bacterial dominated, which would be good for grasslands, or fungal dominated, which would be good for more woody species like blackberries and more woody type of species. So um, the interview with Evan Folds was just really fantastic. Again, you can head over to agriculturalinsights.com if you want to get some more information on that. Uh, but thanks again to Evan. From the Vortex Brewer, you can find out more about the Vortex Brewer at thevortexbrewer.com, I believe, or just Google it. And again, my name is Chris Stelzer from Agricultural Insights. Go over to agriculturalinsights.com. All the best interviews are free, so make sure you click the link below and you can check it out. Well, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.